Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday and a wonderful first day of fall. It certainly does not feel like fall here in North Carolina. It has been in the low 90s with high, high humidity. Um, that's okay though, y'all know I'm a summer girl, so I'm just gonna eat it up as long as I am able to. So as promised, I told you guys the first of fall, I would share with you all my fall decorations. And even though I'm not ready for summer to end, obviously, I do love to decorate for fall. And I figured why not get it out and go ahead and put it up. So first off here, just in the kitchen table, um, I don't have anything too crazy decorated. I have a cute little two-tier tray that um, I had found at Target Dollar Spot. It was um, $5, mm, might've been three, but I think it was five. But I thought it was really cute and just a perfect size here for this table um, because this is where we primarily will come and sit and eat and talk um, as opposed to the dining room table where that's more for, um, you know, larger family um, dinners like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, uh, birthdays, things like that. Um, we tend to uh, congregate in there or if the kids and I, you know, if we're playing like a board game and my husband um, will play it usually in there. Or we was, sometimes we'll play out here as well, but um, to have more space, sometimes we'll do it in there. Um, but I just have these, the little B for my husband's name and then um, the K for mine and then this cute little harvest and everything that's on this two-tier tray I had found at the Dollar Tree, other than, of course, the tray itself was from Target. These um, pretty placemats my father-in-law gave me. They were my mother-in-law's, so, of course, they're really special to me, and I put those out. And um, hold on one second, and I'll take you over to the coffee table. Okay, and this is our coffee station, coffee slash tea station. We've got our Keurig there. Over here, I've got this cute little um, tin container that says, Be Thankful, again, Dollar Tree. And all my, um, mine and my daughter's yummy teas, because we're primarily the ones that drink that. And then I have this cute little welcome to our patch. Um, I believe I got that at Target, or actually, someone may have got that for me. Ooh, comment down below if it was you. <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm so sorry. And then over here, um, this little tea container, um, I had gotten it um, Aldi's previous, uh, well, several Aldi hauls back. <laughs> I haven't done an Aldi haul in a while. In a while. I have to do one. Um, and then over here, I just have this cute little um, pumpkin little... Um, that I put um, the little jack-o'-lantern that I put like little breakfast um, treats in if you want to grab one you know grab and go and then this pretty little um, silver pumpkin gray pumpkin went really well with um, that's our hot tub out there <laughs> it went really well with um, you know my kitchen colors because they're like a uh, blue Tiffany blue and uh, gray so um, and then these cute little dishes it's got a little or little mugs it's got a little ghost down in that one and a little bat down in that one hey dream big production slash bat fan bat fan i think you'll like this mug my daughter picked out both of these probably like a year or so ago i want to say like tj maxx um she saw it and wanted it and i got it for her all right hold on one second guys and then up here i just have um a little pumpkin, a little thankful sign, another little pumpkin, and there's the little squirrels. My daughter had saw these at Dollar Tree, the salt and pepper shakers, and thought they were really cute, which we didn't need any more salt and pepper shakers, but um, just for like a knickknack, we thought it'd be cute. Um, and then that squirrel up there as well. Y'all know I love my squirrels and my birds. So there's that. So there on the oven, I just have some little harvest hand towels. And then over here by our um, indoor grill, I just have in a little cute little basket, probably got it at a yard sale years ago. I don't even remember. Um, I just got some of this corn in here. Just thought that would look cute, kind of rearranged in there. Then up top there, um, 
I have a basket that honestly was just sitting around because I love baskets, so I tend to have a lot and I tend to have some in storage. Shh, don't tell my husband. <laughs> but um, I just took that cute little basket and thought, you know what, I'm gonna kind of put some cookbooks under it or you know, inside of it and um, kind of build it up so that those pumpkins can sit there. And then as well as um, that little um, washcloth there coming out that's a fall washcloth as well. Here I just put on top of the microwave um, a pretty little doily that a friend of mine, or actually it's like a little um, oven um, mitt that a friend of mine had um, knitted me a couple years back um, that was a resident where I used to work. Um, she was really good at doing stuff like that and blessed some of us with those. And then of course, another one of those silver pumpkins. Over here by the sink, um, I just have a couple little pumpkins and then a Harvest Wishes little sign, some little gnomey gnomes. Um, and then that um, cover there says, I think it says Autumn, Autumn Harvest, I think it says. Um, it's a cover from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so that was the kitchen. I'm moving on into the dining room. Okay, so I really, really love the blue um, that was my mother-in-law's. Um, and so I, I still kind of wanted to keep it out and keep it incorporated in our fall colors. So I just put some simple little um, flowers down inside of there and just, um, some copper looking kind of fall colored um, candles in there and then two little pumpkins. Um, and then I told you guys that I was getting these clear plates from the Dollar Tree. I had some of the uh, white, little small white um, dessert plates, and then I had purchased these um, Happy Fall bowls. Um, really, you could use them for desserts, ice cream, or to make little souffles in, and honestly, anything. Um, and then again, kind of trying to keep that blue incorporated um, there. I would like to get some fall napkins, but I just haven't picked them up yet. If I do, I'll show you guys. Um, but then these were the um, placemats um, that I had for fall that I've had for quite a while now. Um, honestly, don't even remember where I got them from, but I did want to um, not cover them because because of how they're, um, the, the decorations on them. So, like I said, that's why I got the, uh, clear plates. Um, so yeah, that's our dining room table. And then going over here, you can see down there, those were like the plates that I had on my spring and summer table. Um, so that's more of my blue, um, decor. And instead of just uh, stacking it away in a box or a container, I just said, you know what, it's just fine there. I'll just leave it right there. And so that's what I did. Um, but up here, it screams fall. <laughs> I've got um, little, my little um, leaves that I've had for quite a while. Um, I, it was a um, candle company. I can't think of the name of it, but I had ordered them a long time ago. And that's the other one. I actually have three. I'm not sure where the other one's at. Maybe I just didn't put it out because it was going to be too crowded. I'm not sure. But um, y'all know I love my angels. So there's my fall angels. And I just kind of tried to keep it simple. But um, at the same time, you know, wanted to set out my stuff, my fall stuff. So there's that. And then over here by my um, little plant, I just have a simple little give thanks sign above this picture I just put some um, like maple leaves across there and draped them down. I thought that would look really pretty. And if you've watched my channel enough times you have heard me say that my daughter and I found this window pane um, when we were walking one day our neighbor was throwing it out um, a couple streets up and I said you know what I could do some stuff with that. I don't know if I wanted to put pictures behind it like photographs or if I wanted to decorate it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put it up in my dining room. I'm gonna decorate it for each season, holiday, things like that. So that's what I did. And I just have a simple little wishing you harvest blessings, little sign there. Over here on my little bike that I've had for a long, long time, I just have a little sign that says, or a little uh, pillow that says, give thanks. Over here, I just put one little pink pumpkin. I didn't have really um, much pink 
um, throughout the house. Um, so I did have it in that vase and then I do have it in some of the pictures here in this hallway. So I did um, put that little pumpkin over there. here on this stand. I have this really cute little um, pumpkin and it, it lights up. It's really pretty at night. It just puts all different types of colors. So it's really cute. And then over here um, on my blanket ladder where my plant cascades, um, I just was just very simplistic. A lot of times um, for Christmas, I really go all out and decorate this ladder. Um, but for fall, I just put up a simple little pillow that says Happy Harvest and then that little pumpkin there. Um, again, Dollar Tree. Okay, and last but not least, the mantle um, over the fireplace. So, I really did want to do something spectacular with this space. Um, really would love to put lots and lots of more pumpkins and leaves and just really have it cascading. Um, however, it is that time of year um, when it starts to get a little cooler and my husband really enjoys the fireplace and I do as well. Um, and so of course he does not want anything hanging down over there um, for fear of a fire. So, um, that lantern there, it does light. That light is um, battery operated. Um, so sometimes I'll light that at night. Um, and I'll probably leave the fire, the mantle the way it is. I don't think I'll do much more with it. And um, if I do, I'll show you guys like on my community post or something. But this is what the mantle looks like. And those pretty little um, black candles holders, you guys saw me haul those from the Dollar Tree. I can't believe that they sold them at the Dollar Tree because they just reminded me of something like like old time and almost like antique looking. So I really, really love them and I thought, oh, I gotta get them. And I had candles that were quite a few different sizes. Those are the only candles I have that fit that um, those holes down in there. But um, I just thought it looked pretty. I actually may go back and get the smaller one. I think there was three different sizes as opposed to the two there that I grabbed. Um, so I, wanted, I do want to check and see because if there is, and I would love to maybe move those over to where the pumpkins are and then, you know, of course, rearrange those pumpkins around. Um, but I would like to do like small, medium, and large over there by um, those candles over there by the um, other little candle holder. So what do you guys think? All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this fall tour, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate your support, and would love it if you'd give me a big thumbs up, and if you would, share this video. Hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye, y'all.